First of all, let's begin with this story. It's the morning after the tragic fire at the popular Idumata market in Lagos State, and victims are still reeling from the loss they suffered. Fire engulfed parts of Dusumu Market on Lagos Island, leading to the collapse of five buildings, with a total of 14 buildings affected. TVC News senior reporter Theophilus, Theophilus Elama has details. <laughs> the fire set to have started from the refueling of a running generator within the market. The result is what turned out to be the raising of 14 buildings. Billions of naira are set to have gone down the drain as firefighters worked hard to bring the fire under control. But at the last count, five buildings succumbed to the burning heat, all coming down like a pack of cards. We thought it was a small thing. We rolled out fire service to come in. So the first three fire appliances that got there, got their fire uh, water exhausted. From there, before they replenished and come back, the fire had uh, spread to other places. So more fire stations and appliances had to be rolled uh, up. As uh, time was uh, on, the building was spreading continuously. If you look at this area, you can recall how many fire incidents that we have handled. And if you look at the etiology, it's the same etiology, but different approach to it that makes it different. As emergency experts could have confined to an area. But what they did was that they threw out the generator. The generator hit another shop. The other shop has flammable substances and the fire started spreading. Okay. On the penthouse building, there was a printing press company who was trying to fuel generator that was at work. While he was trying to fuel the generator that was at, at work, that ignited to fire and the fire started spreading. So they, we learned that there were a keg of fuel surrounding in that premise also. So he was trying to throw them down one after the other. Traders who had goods in adjoining shops were seen trying to remove their wares as the government rolled out bulldozers to bring down several adjoining buildings. See, first time is affecting me, but it's normally happening this more. Uh, this is not up to two weeks. Something happened to us down and it's affected a lot of people. So the same, the same this does more again, the same happen again. So in fact, I don't know what is going on here. I lost a lot of good of money. I can't estimate. Even as I'm talking to you, it's one of my warehouse here and I'm bringing goods down. So I don't want the same, because they wanted to pull this one that I was begging them, let me pull my house. Uh, take all my goods from here before they pull it down. It really affects me. The houses are too close. There's no building spaces. So here now, I got these uh, generators stuff that got fire here so they couldn't create the fire on time so that is why how everything exploded so now what we tell that there is no any casualties but right now a lot of properties have been lost weeks ago some shops caught fire in the same dosemo area leading to loss of property worth millions of naira what we have seen here is a clear lack of safety protocol even after the last inferno that happened in this same area. The government has always said that safety should be the watchword of everyone. And of course, we believe that this should serve as a lesson to other markets in Lagos State. Theophilus Elama, TVC News, Lagos.